All right, everyone, let's take a close look at this interesting expression, 4 minus 1, and right next to it we have parentheses, 6 minus 1. Now, at first glance, you might quickly say, okay, 4 minus 1 gives me 3, and 6 minus 1 gives me 5. So that must be 3 times 5, 15. And honestly, that seems reasonable. But that answer is not correct. Let's slow down and see what's really happening here. This is where the order of operations, also known as PEMDAS, comes in. You've probably heard this rule before. PEMDAS helps us decide what to do first when a math expression has parentheses, multiplication, subtraction, and more. So let's quickly remind ourselves what PEMDAS stands for. P for parentheses, E for exponents, M and D for multiplication and division, and finally, A and S for addition and subtraction. That means we always start with parentheses, then handle exponents, then move to multiplication or division from left to right, and finish with addition or subtraction, also from left to right. Now, in our expression, we've got a subtraction, a multiplication, and a parenthesis. So, step one, let's do what PEMDAS says. Start with the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have 6 minus 1, which equals 5. Now the expression becomes 4 minus 1 times 5. Next, we check for multiplication because it comes before subtraction. So, 1 times 5 equals 5. Now we're left with 4 minus 5. And 4 minus 5 gives us negative 1. So, the correct answer to this problem is negative 1, not 15. Pretty cool, right? This simple example shows how just one small mistake in the order of operations can completely change your answer. And hey, if you enjoy solving tricky math problems like this and want to keep learning with me, make sure to hit that like button to show your support. Subscribe so you never miss a new challenge and share this video with a friend who loves math or might need a little help understanding PEMDAS. Because learning math is always more fun when we do it together. And that's it, our final answer is negative 1. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.